The lessons learned from ego. Lessons learned from ego is a motivational story. You might say that is not a story. It is about the king of the bird kingdom. It is about the ego. It is about how ego suffering pain for regaining its own strength and pride by the ego and much more. I hope you enjoy the story. Eagles fly alone at high altitudes. They don't fly with all the small birds. The moral, stay away from narrow-minded people, those that brings you down. Ego flies with egos. Moral, associate with people who are at your level. Don't waste your time with unnecessary and negative people. Look for those who think like you so you can both dream and grow together. Keep a good company. Egos have the accurate vision. They have the ability to focus on something as far as five kilometers away. No matter the obstacles, the ego will not move his focus from the prey until he grabs. The moral, do the same thing with your goals. Focus on one thing to accomplish at the time. Give it your effort, time, and energy. Create a goal and remain focused, no matter what the obstacles, and you will succeed. When the storm comes, all of all the birds hide in the branches and leaves of the trees. But the ego uses the storm wind to lift it sail higher. Once it fights a storm, the ego use raging storm to lift itself above the clouds. This gives the ego an opportunity to climb and rest on its wings on the high sky. The moral challenges bring opportunities. We should see the opportunities, grab in our challenges. If we were so busy complaining and trying to avoid them, face your challenges head on knowing that this will make you emerge stronger and better than you were today. We can use storms of life to rise to be greater heights. That's how we learn new skills, grow, and get stronger. Is it easy to do? Of course not. But we can learn how to. When it's time for the eaglet to learn how to fly, eagles remove the feathers and soft grass from the nest so that eaglets once get uncomfortable in preparation for flying and eventually flies when it becomes unbearable to stay in the nest. The moral lesson, leave your comfort zones, there is no growth. We can only grow if we are willing to step out of our comfort zones. The thorns of pain in life is there to tell us that there is nothing more for us where we are 
and it's time to move on, grow and spread our wings. Further, the people who genuinely care about us will not encourage us in our slothfulness and fear. Why? Their treatment may seem unkind, it is for our ultimate good. Sometimes, tough love is best. They don't want us to die in our next life failure, rebirth. The ego helps to make a painful decision at around age of 40, die or go through a painful process of rebirth which is extend its life for another 40 years. This process involves the painful task of knocking out its beak and claws, plucking out its talons so that new ones can grow. This entire process takes about five months to complete. The moral lessons no pain, no gain. Many of us want success, but without the sacrifice, hand work, disappointments, the heartbreak which comes with success. To survive and grow, we must be willing to change. And sometimes we might even need to go a step further, a death a death of our own self, and a total rebirth, ending toxic relationships, leaving toxic jobs, getting rid of destructive habits or thoughts, traditions, and mindsets that no longer serve us. That is the story of the life of the ego and how we can use it for a moral lesson in our life. If we can be just like ego, fly really high, going through storm, pluck our own feathers, own wing, and rebirth, that would be the way to success. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, give it a thumb up, like to support my channel. Thank you so much.